All right, everybody, we're back, and we're about to go investigate Matsushita Ota. Mm. Matsushita Diner, let's go. We drive a nice car. Saturday, 10, 18 a.m., Matsushita Diner. Oh, hello. Hello, mystery Matsushita grandmother. I'm sorry, we aren't open yet. I don't care what you say. I'm an officer. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. Your grandson, bring him I'm with to the me. MPD. I flashed my badge. Oh, heavens, no. I is my boy... I is Ota in trouble? He's about to be. Calm down, down ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. She hurried out of the kitchen. And you're Ota's... His mother. Oh, you look like his grandmother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita, before we talk... Could I make a request? Put the damn knife down? Mm-hmm. Could you put that knife down, please? Ah. Oh, goodness. Sorry. Sorry. Ah, I'm an officer of the law. I'm the law officer. Mayumi put the knife down on the table beside her. All right, so we're going to investigate a lot around here. Kitchen. I can see the kitchen area past the counter. A swinging door. A swimming door. A swinging door. Date, you're dumb. A swinging door. Low table. A low table. Do you want to see? It was delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. She forces Oda to buy them. I know it. Um... Huh, okay. Check out your... Can't check out your slippers yet. What's in the bag? Little box. A packing slip. The sender is Great Grin. A popular online store. Product description reads, Solid Model. We should look inside. Use the x-ray mode. I wasn't done. Investigating the box. Using the X-ray vision to see the inside. It's a cardboard box. There's a delivery slip attached to it. Yeah, I wanted to freaking. I wanted to see if it had a fucking return address. I'll worry about looking at that later. A small sitting cushion. This reminds me of the funniest props compilation I saw. You reached pretty far back for that reference. A small sitting cushion. Disposable chopsticks. Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. It says Mayumi's black sauce. Neither of us can figure out what that sauce is. Window. Nothing but a window. But lucky cat. A lucky cat statue. Okay then. What the hell? Are you unfamiliar with the superstition? Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. Is that right? A lucky cat statue. Poster. Be a beer ad on the wall. She's cute. You have zero standards, Konami Date. A beer ad on the wall. Menus written on the wall on Tanzaku paper. That's just the calendar. Thank goodness we have that. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what year it is. Just add one year to whatever the calendar says, currently. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I don't think you are, you old bat. It's November, but that calendar says January. 
Looking closely at it, even the year is wrong. This is old. An old calendar on the wall. It says, good luck. Okay. Clock. It's a clock. Hands off those hands. <laughs> Just kidding. Is this woman okay? Bitch, you keep... Uncertain. But she reminds me of you. Bitch, you keep messing around. You're gonna, you're gonna get these hands. The gears have stopped turning. Not until my, not unlike Mayumi. Beer cases. A stool. A round chair. A large jellyfish. Sure, it's a large jellyfish in the middle of this restaurant here. It's a round chair, also known as a stool. Bookshelf. It's got stickers on the side of it. An old CRT television. You think that thing gets any channels? Unlikely. I do not detect any tuners or antennas. Okay. That's good. Uh, a table. The counter. Photo. It's a photo. I can't tell what's what's on it from here. Mayumi, Ota, and Dad. Family photo, huh? Mayumi and Ota, when they were younger. The other person appears to be Ota's father. Family photo. Looks like Oda and his mother and father. Kitchen knife. There's a kitchen knife on the table. Something is even engraved on the handle. A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. And there's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Aww. Oda gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. How did he... Buy it that he was that he young. knows how much I love flowery designs. Hmm. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. Oh my god, Mayumi sounds so familiar too. It means the world hmm. to me. Alright. I know I've heard her voice before, so. Alright, so let's talk to her before we investigate inside the package. Where is your husband? I think think he went to buy some ingredients he comes and goes all the time without telling me that mm, I don't know this is nothing new mm, about Shoko I decided to ask her about Shoko just in case I brought out the picture of Shoko and showed it to my Yumi does this woman look familiar to you no I don't recognize her who is she no one don't worry about it About the weather. The rain last night was pretty bad, wasn't it? The rain? Oh, right, yes. Hmm. Tell me about your restaurant. Oh, it's just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I manage it with my husband, but it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Peculiar. Now it's close to lunchtime. Cause it's ten it was ten eighteen when we came in here. What? This establishment is near the Kabasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean never mind. Huh? Huh. How long have you been here? Oh, about thirty years now. We had to borrow a lot of money to get started, but Back then, everyone was willing to lend you money. Is that so? That boy, he's been hanging out at this office building lately. What kind of office? Oh, what was it? It's a place <laughs> where irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens, no, nothing like that. 
Otto wouldn't go to a place like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. For anime? What's the name of the company? Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. Why does Oda hang out there? Oh, because there's a goddess there. A what? Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. A witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. You see that box over there? The one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. So is this witch working there? Yes. That good-for-nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. Do you know her name? Uh, I'm assuming it's not witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the witch. <laughs> All right, I'm getting nowhere. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. Before we ask her to call him, what's in the box? It's a figure. A very good figure, too. <clears throat> now, what is this? A solid PVC model of a person. Known as a figure. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of x-ray vision should make them legible. A set. Oh no. Allow me to investigate. A moment, please. There's gonna be multiples of them. A set. Can you call him here for us? Call him? Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? So you can call him when he's out of the house, you dumb old bat. He doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. Alright, this old lady needs you to be put under. You can abandon this line of questioning, Date. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. There is no connection. Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. And also a murder. Iba. Date, I've found some information about the figure. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnisgate. Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemnisgate. Renju owns that company. Oh. That's... Oh. Correct. Oh, no. Uh, excuse me. Does the name Lemnisgate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. Iba, bring the car around. At once. She's a robot. How can she bring the car around? About this idol. She mentioned a box. Like, this box. Now can we x-ray it? See what we can see? Alright, let's go to Lemon Escape. So the person who called in the murder spends a lot of his time at the company that's owned by the husband of the deceased. Okay. And let's see. Friggin' so... I'm gonna say... I'm gonna take a guess and say this company is about an hour 
away from the diner we were just at. We arrived at the diner at 10.18, uh, assuming 30 minutes for questions before we got the information we need. Get on the road, arriving here at 11.45. So I'm gonna say hour. I'm gonna I'm gonna just say it's an hour. There's Ota. That's him. Correct. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? I showed him my badge. I'm from the MPD. <laughs> the police? Tanjiro, is that you? Are you a fan of ASET? How did you know that? No way. Tanjiro? I think that's Tanjiro. Yeah, we watched we watched Demon Slayer dub. Yeah, that's Tanjiro. Because I'm psychic. Just listen to him. <laughs> Excuse me? What can you tell me about last night? Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, Oda, I can take you down to the station for questioning. All right, Oda, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Hey, I just said that. Do you have a warrant? Um, don't need a warrant to do a police investigation. I'm not arresting you. I'm taking you down for questioning. There's a difference. Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. This is the type of kid I hate the most. What are you typing? Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? Could you look at me? No. I'm kind of busy right now. Punch him. Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. And what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. Kick him. I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. What? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Does Tessa refer to Aset? Um, it would have to. Are you an idiot, Date? Tessa is just Aset backwards. Are you stupid? That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. Why? Man, I wish I could read all the freaking the posts. What? Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub-accounts. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. Wow, he is a creep. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet, or false flagging. This kid is pathetic. He's white knighting. He's jumping in to protect her so she'll quote unquote notice him. Why? Let's look at the abstract painting. There's an abstract painting hung up. What is that supposed to be? I do not know. That. There's an abstract and incomprehensible painting hung up. The company's logo, Lemon Escape. Receptionist. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting. There's a receptionist with huge breasts. Huge breasts. Breasts. There are huge breasts sitting behind the desk. <laughs> oh man, the writing of this game is so good. <laughs> Plant. A plant. Date, look! Ants! Look at them go! Yay! <laughs> you need to have a discussion about your obsession with insects. 
<laughs> a plant. Reception desk. That's a reception desk. So far. So far, a sofa. It's a sofa. It's a sofa. A large window. A low table in front of a sofa. Hey, Iba. What do you think would happen if I flip this table over right now? It would come out of your salary. Eh, you're probably right. Guess I won't. A low table in front of the sofa. Ota's laptop. Can I reach over and break that thing in half? If you can pay for the damages. Damn it. I'm poor. Ota's laptop. It's a high table. That is a high stool. A high school? No, Date. Door. There's probably an office back there. Magazine rack. Lots of magazines in that rack. Let's see, how to take a girl home in just two minutes. I think I'll take a look at that. Lots of magazines in that rack. A vending machine full of drinks. There are high stools around the table. Promotional videos of the agency's talent are playing. Nothing dirty though. This isn't that kind of company. Promotional videos of the agency's talent are playing. Okay, I think we did everything. Now we gotta talk to this dumbass. Hey, kid! Hey, kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Asa. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Uh, 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 what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub-accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. Like, hey, you can just, if you didn't do anything bad, why not just answer the questions and then be on your merry way, Junior? Why are you here? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. When did you start with the fake accounts? Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. You're gross. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. From what, you dummy? Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? I'm gonna ask you again. About last night. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around nine? Y yes Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey everyone, uh, this guy... Okay, okay, I'll talk, just... Shh. So about last night, Ota. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Oh, hmm. I bet the person he was supposed to meet was Renju Okiura, owner of Lemniscate, who could get him an autograph from ASAP, maybe. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiura. Oh, did not see that coming. What did you say? Mizuki Okiura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. She's living with me. How do you know Mizuki? She's just a friend. Yeah, she better be. Bro, you're 24 years old. Why you got 12-year-old friends? What? 
Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. You're 24. Well, what am I supposed to call it? A friendship, you idiot. How do you know me, Suki? Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? She's half your age. I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. Odoin Kyoma, huh? That sounds an awful lot like... The Kilma from Stein's Gate. Let's see. Mm. Let's see. Yep, that's the reference. Okabe, wow. Okabe's fake name is Hoeing Kilma. Halloween, Odoin, Kyoma, Kyoma. That is a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. He's not professional. He just, he's, he sucks, but that's who he is. Hey, Ota, how about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. And you're surprisingly twice her age. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Can you provide a detailed account of last night? Around 8.10 last night. I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I do. I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Huh. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. Can you provide a detailed account of last night, though? What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. <laughs> and, and there her mother was... Oh, okay, we found her mother. <laughs> So much for so much for being her protection, you loser. Did you leave her there? Did you leave her there? You left a 12-year-old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. Damn right, you're a loser. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Good girl. Yeah. <laughs> Good girl. Why did you use a payphone? I tried using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. That's why he wasn't answering. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Ota's phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. Okay. I still think it's the, the father. The father husband. May it could be. Although. Hey, Ota!
Tessa, what are you doing? Tessa! It'd be kind of funny if it uh, turned out to be Tessa. He's got a monkey face. And you are? Mr. Date from the MPD. Oh, now we're bros now? Now I'm Mr. Date? He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean a detective? Wow, I've never met a real detective before. Oh man, I know, A. I, oh, I can't place my finger on ASAP, but she's familiar. Date, your adrenaline level is rising. Shut up, Iva. Oh, I know. Oh, I know I've heard ASAP before. Oh my god, I know I've heard her before. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Jackie Lastra. She plays Zhang Ling in Genshin Impact. Hmm. She plays Serena in Pokemon Masters. Let's see. She plays Iris in Death End Request. I think I... Th she plays Melty in Shield Hero. Oh. Let's see. She plays Saki. Oh. She played Saki in Sirius the Jaeger. Did we watch that subbed or dubbed? Uh, I can't remember. She plays Rakata in East 8. That's probably, where, that's probably where I remember her from the most. Yeah, I knew I knew her. She sounded familiar. Well, we'll have to leave Date and his rising adrenaline levels alone for a bit. Till next time, everybody.